Hi all, it's uh, Jay Marbles from FMH5 here today to show you another how-to video on how to use uh, my pre-editor. Um, as always, um, if you have not followed my previous tutorials on how to download and install the pre-editor, please refer to those. Please download it from FMH5, which has exclusive rights to distribute it, um, and follow those tutorial videos to get yourself up to speed. Please do make sure you have the latest version of the pre-editor um, at the time of recording this, we're up to 0.05 um, as time goes on with updates etc. Um, this might change so please do make sure you have the latest version. Um, apologies about my screen resolution, um, this um, is because my um, large HD screen is currently broken and waiting for a replacement so I'm having to use a lower res screen um, to be able to record it in 720p. Um, for YouTube. So um, what you do is you need to fire up um, the pre-editor and load yourself a database. And what we're going to discuss, um, go through today is probably one of the more uh, interesting aspects of the pre-editor and that is the editing of players. Um, I've already gone through some of the um, other parts of the pre-editor like the clubs, competitions and nations but today we're going to specifically go through um, how to edit um, you know, players. So as, as always you're able to search for your favourite player, I'm going to search for Aaron Ramsey and here he is and all I want to do is I want to show you how to edit him and um, what, what each bit means just so that you uh, fully understand and are aware of the sort of things that you should be able to do. So on the left hand side you've got the different sections in which you can modify and edit and so we can start off in the details tab and you're able to change each player's first and second name and also their common name or nickname. Now what you need to do is you need to make sure that you actually select the name off the list. Um, you can't just type in like that and and hope for the best because that's not being selected. Um, these drop downs are actually data driven so though you might select the word Aaron um, there is actually data behind that word which links into the player's name so make sure you do actually select the name. One thing that you might want to do is let's say you want to change his name to Jack you might want to type Jack hit the drop down and it should select the Jack for you already. Please like I said make sure you do select the name off the list, whether you start typing it or just drop down and select. You do need to select um, a name off the list. Again, select a common name or if you want to take the common name off, if they have got a common name, just choose this blank section there as well. Date of birth for the player, and this obviously impacts their age in game. Um, it's in British format, so it's date, month, year. Um, so for all you um, Americans out there, please do make sure you have it in the correct format. Okay, again we've got nation here. Again, we've had some people um, on the forum who's done that, typed it, pasted that in, and hoped for the best, thought it would work. Unfortunately, it's not. You can type it in, but make sure you then select it from the list, like that. Has to be selected just because it is a data bound item. Here we've got second nation, so this can be useful if you've got a Brazilian who you want to make European, you can change him his second, lang his second nation to be Portuguese, and then obviously he's gonna have no work permit issues, so that's just your second nation there. Again, please select it from the list. Here we have um, international caps and goals. So in case of Jack Stamp, which is actually Aaron Ramsey, 26 caps, 6 goals. Um, it's, it's delimited by that backslash, so please make sure you keep that format there, um, or else it's going to fail and not going to recognise the, the correct um, caps and, and goal ratio. And then we come down to um, the player's reputation. And this is split as pretty normal within the football manager um, range. Um, you've got home, current and, and world reputation and these reputations range from 0 to 10,000. 
and there's, there's some validation on there so it won't allow you to go over 10,000 as you can see there if I put in 12,000 it will default to the maximum value just so you can't type over the, uh, the maximum amount obviously the higher the reputation um, the more interest the players are going to generate from other clubs the more money the person that the player will demand for wages so uh, reputation is, is quite an important aspect so next one we have is current and potential ability which again um, most um, users should be aware of it's, it's been pretty much a staple statistic um, across the whole FM range as well and the maximum is 200, minimum is 100 um, obviously the higher the potential ability um, the better the players are going to be um, in this case um, Jack Sample or Aaron Ramsey has the potential to become you know, a world class player and he started off to be a good, a, you know, a pretty good um, Premiership player and then down here we've got um, how you know people that he likes and dislikes. So in this case, um, Aaron Ramsey he likes Jared Ledley. He dislikes Ryan Shawcross probably because he broke his leg. And his favourite club is Cardiff. Again, you can change these around. And make sure you do you know actually select one. If you don't want them to have one, choose a blank one at the top. But, you know you can start typing. So if I start typing Thierry Henry like that, it will find. Thierry on me for me. So please do make sure you actually select from the list and not just free type in. So that's that for the uh, the details um, information. On to the contract information for this player. And on this screen, you have the ability to actually um, to change ability to change the uh, the club that um, Aaron Ramsey is already at. So his contract's to Arsenal, but you can transfer him. You know, if I want to make him move to West Ham, for instance, just change to West Ham. And when you save him, he'll move across to West Ham when you load the game up. Let's just go back to Arsenal. Here you've got the contract start date and the contract expiry date. If the player does not have a start date, it will default to the 1st of the 1st, 1900. And that's a default contract start date. And then you've got the player's value and the wage as well. And this is in, in pounds sterling, just so you're aware, this is in pounds. And then you've got this section here, which is a, another cool feature, which is part of the pre-editor this year. And that is the is on loan option. Now, I've already messed around a bit with Aaron Ramsey. So what I'll probably show you is, is a different player. Let's, let's, let's do Steve Ramsey instead. So... Here, here we have a player currently not on loan, but I want to put him on loan. So what I do is I tick, is he on loan? Yes, I select the club. Let's say he goes to AC Milan. And then that's it. So when you start the game, this player here, Steve Ramsey, will be on loan to AC Milan. Now, similar, if you actually know a player who currently is on loan, but you want to recall him, so, for instance, if I choose, um, sorry, let's try that again. So, if I choose a cuckoo, who we all know is currently on loan to Everton, go into him. There you go, on loan to Everton already. And what you can do is actually you can remove him from loan. Let's say you want to recall him and you don't want him on loan to begin with. Just untick it. There we go, not on loan. Or what you can do is you can change which club he's on loan to. Simple as that. As I'm with the Cuckoo, I'll carry on showing you the different various parts of the player edit function. So here we have mental attributes. Now, one thing you will notice is that some of these boxes are white and some are quite faint blue. Now, the ones which are blue have a range of 0 to 255. Now, the higher the number on these boxes does not necessarily mean the higher the statistic within the game. Now, these boxes have a particular calculation behind them, and unfortunately, I haven't worked these calculations out yet. So just bear that in mind that the white boxes are 0 to 20, and 
those numbers will filter through in game those are exact numbers so if you put in a number for instance flare like i was saying if you want to change flare to let's say 20 because it's a white box that that 20 is not modified not not changed by any calculation it's only these light boxes so in this case creative decisions positioning so edit those to your heart content now it's important to remember that the player's age and ability is taken into consideration. So if you max the player out to all 20s, the game's going to adjust that if their ability is not high enough to handle um, that player's uh, numbers. So person attributes, again, these are all 0 to 20s, um, and these are, are hidden attributes, so you can't see them in game, but there are background numbers. Here we have positions, and this allows you to edit the player's position. They range from 0 to 20. If they're 20, it's a natural position. The lower the number, it means they're not as natural in that position. Please make sure that if you select, for instance, striker, that you also put a number in for what size they are in. Um, some of the early people were just put in, let's say, midfielder, but not to keep, not, not putting anything in at all for what position. And that was not, you know, that, that they're within the game they had no position on the pitch so please make sure you select a position plus a side as well on to physical attributes these are all 0 to 20s um, in terms of injury proneness lower the better um, and obviously for the rest of them um, they're all higher the better technical attributes and here you have the majority of those 0 to 255s and what I might what I, I tend to do is if I'm trying to edit a player, I would look at a another player in the game who is similar to what I'm trying to get to and look, look at those numbers and try and get them as, as close as possible. Now, whether the, the player is a goalkeeper or not, they will always have a goalkeeper attribute. So please don't ignore, ignore this. Um, though, though, realistically, it's not going to affect any of the mechanics in the game. Um, just please be aware that players do have a goalkeeper attribute. That's pretty much it for, for players. It's as simple as that. It should be pretty much self-explanatory. Um, one thing to note is that the start date and the expiry date for the contracts is in British format. So that's date, month, year for all you uh, Americans out there. And just remember that this is in pounds sterling as well. Um, hopefully you found this uh, how-to video um, informative. Um, please do check out my other videos as well for other aspects of the uh, save editor. As always, once you've made the changes to the player, you hit save and close and you'll save the editor database and then transfer it back onto your device. Um, thank you for watching.